What's up dudes and Judah to the air and my name is Seth and we are back again for another Trove tutorial. This is going to be a very very quick and easy updated one that regards how you actually get flux in Trove because lots of things have changed since my last flux farming tutorial video uh, including the fact that you don't need to main the Lunar Lancer anymore in order to get results. So the biggest way that I actually farm flux of course is just by grinding, 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 uh, forging up to Radiant Gear and then selling it. However the prices are fluctuating so much that I don't know if that's going to be a permanent option for me GG but the other thing that I didn't answer in my last flux farming tutorial is how low-level players that actually don't have access to some of the gear that I can get and even then the gear in U9 is horrible like it's absolutely terrible uh, but the other things that you can farm if you're a low tiered player is you can farm recipes primordial flames cloud shards uh, bones as well are actually a very very quick easy way to turn a profit especially if you manipulate the market that's actually the fastest way of getting profit in Trove is actually to have enough flux so that you can buy something for low and then sell it for higher. Bones are a really good thing that you can turn around. Uh, there's also, uh, everybody just recently did it with the Pearls of Wisdom because they swapped over. Uh, and in general, that is just the way to play. I don't do it myself. I never really cared to actually learn the market and manipulate and stuff like that because it actually is very, very time consuming. So I just farm. I'm a farmer. Yeah. So you can farm all of that stuff and pretty much anything that's tedious to get, players are going to pay big money for. So take advantage of the marketplace. Uh, you know, you can always sell lower tiered souls like Shadow 2 souls and stuff like that. But unfortunately, you're not really going to get that much of a profit anymore because the price of everything like that has just plummeted down like crazy. So all I can say is good luck, mates, because farming for flux is a lot more difficult than it used to be just because the numbers are going up while the stuff that we can actually sell for the prices of them is going down so it's kind of a little bit of a trade-off of course there are just you know you can try your luck at getting flux from like chaos chest loot and stuff like that uh, but in general I don't really trust the RNG I never really go for the RNG I don't buy any chaos chests or anything like that because you know then you're working on random generation and random chance and it's like yeah you don't really want to leave your profiteering in the hands of random chance because the RN genie is a gr cruel monster. He's gruesome. He's going to screw you over at every turn. But either way, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll do my best to try and answer at, at least as most of them as I can. But you got to understand with the amount of uh, comments and everything like that and the amount of feedback and everything that I'm getting on every other video, it just gets a little bit crazy. But either way, thanks for watching everybody. Hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to do get the like button, share, favorite, and subscribe to join Team Pixel Sino and stay epic, everybody.